Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So it seems like everyone is talking about Ethereum. An Ethereum based ETF is coming. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Smash that like button because Ethereum does seem like it's going to be one of the biggest things in the next bull run, which is obviously coming. Obviously, we have been waiting for about what? The longest bear market in history. So smash that like button if you haven't already. Let's see what Scott Melker has to say this on Altcoin Daily. Ethereum spot ETF applications filed, but it's different when it's BlackRock for a few reasons. Number one is that Larry Fink has been on a roadshow talking about crypto as a flight to... So if you haven't been kept up to date, basically one of the big institutions, BlackRock, filed for that ETF, a lol, uh, when they wanted to destroy crypto, now they're joining crypto, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Quality and the Bitcoin maximalist screamed and yelled that he was only saying crypto because he legally couldn't say Bitcoin. The SEC would come down on him if he was talking his own book. That's completely dispelled. We now know the truth, which is that Larry Fink is in fact bullish on all crypto. And when he says crypto is a flight to quality, he means it. If you were paying attention, so not necessarily bullish. Potentially, they're bullish now. Uh, they're going to be making it a part of the program. ETFs will be a part of the finance market before you already knew that because in his annual investor letter last march he wrote extensively on the tokenization of assets on these other crypto assets beyond just the bitcoin spot etf that they had filed for so when it comes from blackrock you can say that larry fink is one of the top five probably most powerful people literally on the entire planet people joke that there's damn having crypto this is uh absolutely insane absolutely uh four branches of the government the executive judicial legislative and blackrock i would say that uh there's just blackrock and maybe the other three are subsidiaries right i i, I don't think people understand just how impactful black so just to make it some clear points ethereum went up 10 percent in a day after the listing was just teased once it's confirmed Bitcoin continues its strong campaign in 23. The cryptocurrency touching some 18-month highs. Our Dom Chu's tracking that action. Morning, Dom. Hi, Carl. So cryptocurrencies have had a banner week, as you point out here. Prices for the two biggest ones out there. We're talking Bitcoin and Ethereum up massively just over the course of the last week. And Ethereum right now is catching this kind of big bit over the last couple of days, as you can see here. As we Look at here today, 73%. Even stocks didn't have that kind of returns Get stocks had like 50 percent that the world's biggest asset manager that is blackrock filed to list an etf backed by spot ethereum on the nasdaq exchange at some point that's stoking some more optimism that markets could see greater access and perhaps institutional liquidity brought on by an exchange traded product on a regulated exchange. Now, Ether prices did get over $2,000 per token with that latest move. We're currently 2,088 and change. Now, these are levels that we haven't seen since April. And just for reference, if you go, kind of go all the way back to that April high here, that was roughly just around 2,124. So that's an idea for reference where we... So we're getting back to it. But look at this bump and look at the dump and look at this bump. This is obviously a much more sustainable pump. We've seen this year. We've also seen that big rise, as Carl points out, in Bitcoin prices over the last couple of weeks. And that was due again in part to just this idea of optimism about a potential regulated exchange traded product tied to spot Bitcoin at the offing sometime in the not too distant future. Again, BlackRock is a name being floated around as the potential home for one of those potential first Bitcoin exchange traded funds brought to market. Now, as a result, result here, we are seeing some of the companies tied to crypto, Coinbase, Robin Hood, you can see here some upside here as well on the day so far, 2.5% gains there. Uh, also, MicroStrategy holds Bitcoin as an asset. The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, popular vehicle by which some investors gain access to crypto. It's been seen rising. It's up about a percent today so far. So, 2% is not that much, though. That's the only thing. But overall, pretty nice, pretty decent. Uh, what do you guys think about this? We're seeing the highest since May 2022. Are we going to be seeing another bull run? Let me know down in the comments below and smash that like button.